Hello everyone. I'm coming on live today because I kind of wanted to hear from the people. I'm going to give folks a minute to jump into the live. Hello. As for me, Bad Boy MD 20. Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. So welcome everyone. I just wanted to say hello. My name is Jessica Johnson. I'm the founder of Black Travelers Network. Hello, I see a bunch of waves. I wanted to come on because I had a really important question that I want to just kind of get a little bit of, just a little bit of feedback from folks who tend to travel a lot internationally, or for those of you who want to travel more. My question is, will you guys get a vaccine in order to travel internationally? Uh, that is a really big question. You know, I've been reading a number of different articles. Hey, Marcus, it's been a while. Uh, I've been reading a number of different articles that actually talks about, hey, Ron, um, that talks about this whole concept of making sure that people uh, who want to travel internationally are uh, in a situation where uh, they are kind of prepared because the country, the government officials are actually talking more about leaning towards uh, requiring it uh, for in order for people to travel internationally. And so one suggestion is that once this uh, this COVID-19 vaccine becomes available, that it could be uh, necessary for Americans to take in order to leave the country. The other proposal that is on the table is for people to get what they call a ICVP provolasis. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, hello. Uh, um, as people are coming in, I'm, I'm still saying hello. But it's basically uh, just like this booklet, uh, for those of you who, who can see. Um, it, this is actually uh, a yellow fever uh, vaccine booklet uh, that some people, you know, for those of you who actually go to countries where you can, uh, where, you, where it's required for you to get the um, yellow fever shot, this is something you would have to, to actually get, which is uh, what they call the uh, IV, ICVP uh, booklet, um, where they basically just stamp the inside of the booklet uh, as a way of you, in order for you to enter into whatever said country, they will be able to look to see that you have uh, been immunized, immunized. Uh, as you can see from my booklet, I, I took the yellow fever shot uh, some time ago. And so in order for me to get into some of the countries like Ghana, um, it's, hey, a black man abroad, uh, it's required for me to have this little booklet in order for me uh, to get into the country. And so I want to kind of hear from you guys, uh, those of you who are on the live. Uh, is this something you're willing to do in order to travel? You know, the, the government is starting to talk more about either requiring this booklet for travel. Um, but basically, uh, the COVID-19 shot is actually uh, a big uh, thing that's kind of on the horizon. Uh, it has not been rolled out in various countries. No other countries have required it at this point in time. But what do you guys think? So Black Man Abroad, you said yes, you would, yes, you would get, are you talking about yes, you would get the yellow fever, but no, uh, not, uh, not the COVID? Is that what you're saying? Hey, Tiffany, it's been a while. <laughs> um, you have different people joining. So the question on the table is, are you willing to get the COVID-19 shot in order to travel? And you said yes, black man. Hey, Tiff, it's been a while. Okay, so I see some folks. 
thinking about it. So a lot of people do make the argument that, you know, to go to one of the more popular countries that a lot of people have been flocking to, which is Ghana, <laughs> a lot of folks in the diaspora have been going to a lot of a lot of folks have no problem getting the yellow fever shot. Hey, Tiff. Um, but the problem is, for example, if you're talking yeah, I, I understand uh, what you're saying, uh, Black Man Abroad, everything uh, but COVID. I, I definitely uh, understand that sentiment. Um, for folks, hi, Mr. Wynn, Mr. 23, nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, Soul of America Travel just joined. Hey, you guys. Um, so one of the things that I, I have to say for, for those, for example, um, we have a, a trip coming, uh, in 2021 going to Ghana as of right now, of course, Ghana has not made it a requirement, uh, for folks to get the COVID-19 shot. Um, so, but what they do have in order to enter Ghana, you do have to have this booklet, um, so Miss uh, Centoria Diamond said other vaccines for traveling, you can understand, but the COVID shot with the feedback from the results of COVID-19 of the COVID vaccine, you don't feel comfortable with it. I, I certainly understand. I can I can understand those those uh, those thoughts. Yes, Marcus, decisions, decisions is something <laughs> that people should should be thinking of. Um, uh, you know, and I'm using Ghana as an example, because right now for those folks who want to enter into Ghana, because it, it's definitely prior to the pandemic, it was one of the most popular destinations. It's still high on a lot of people's priority list. Um, but just to enter Ghana, folks have to get the uh, yellow fever shot. <laughs> you have to get uh, a visa to, to enter into Ghana. Not only do you have to get a visa, you have to get, yeah, the yellow fever shot. Um, you would also have to get what they call anti-malarial uh, medication. So while you're there uh, to prevent you from catching malaria, you'd also have to get that. Um, you'd have to take a COVID-19 test before you leave the United States. And then when you get to Ghana, you have to take another COVID-19 test once you land and they charge you 150 US dollars. And so um, all of those, like before you even leave the United States, you have to, you have to, <laughs> to, to pay a, a significant amount of more money in order to enter Ghana. And so uh, I just wanted to get the, I, you know, get some feedback from people in terms of how people are feeling about the the COVID-19 vaccines. What's happening in uh, different parts of the country? Are they starting to uh, lock lock put people back on lockdown after the the election? Is anyone seeing that in your city? I just got a call today. I'm in I'm in Dallas. Uh, I haven't heard much of anything here about us going on lockdown again. I have, however, uh, heard about uh, the East Coast, Black Man Abroad, you're in Philly and they're starting to lock people down. California is mandatory mask outside. Yeah, Cali has been, oh my gosh, Tiffany, Cali has been something else. <laughs> Miss Centoria Diamond. California is all over the place. <laughs> I get what you're saying that some parts of Cali is flexible and some parts are not. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Yes, it's kind of interesting. Um, no, no bars or gyms. But oh, wow. In Philly, no bars and gyms. That's that's so interesting. You know, I had a call with our folks in Ghana today and they were talking about how uh, there, the nightlife is like it's already started back up. So no one has, I guess, missed too much of a beat uh, overseas in Ghana. Uh, Jet Set Ho Jose. Hey, New York, New York, New York. Oh, uh, so they're starting to put people on lockdown in Philly uh, again on Friday. Man, 
that gives you a few days to plan and prepare. Um, Jet said, Jose, you're in New York and you said gyms are open, closing at 10. Uh, the, uh, the situation might change come next week. Okay. And schools are closing in New York starting tomorrow. No church in California. Uh, we were uh, social distancing in church, but no more. Wow, this is crazy. So even with the announcements of the vaccine, they're still putting people on lockdown. That's interesting because the financial markets are responding really well to the an announcement of the Pfizer. It's it's Pfizer and Moderna. Those are the two pharmaceutical companies that have made advancement when it comes to the COVID-19 drug. And so, um, yeah, it's not here yet. I, 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 I understand what you're saying. Um, black man abroad. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's interesting to see how the financial markets are responding very positively. But um, you said rates have been wild for the last 14 days nationwide. Yeah. And the Dow was down 400 points. It was down uh, 400. Uh, I, I didn't know how much uh, uh, how, by how many points I did hear her. I did hear that it took a little bit of a dip. Um, but they're thinking, at least based on some of the, the articles that I'm, I'm reading, a lot of the folks in the finance, in the travel and financing announcement, um, would make a difference. Um, you said you call it the Tuskegee vaccine, uh, but I love traveling so much that I'll consider possibly. Uh, maybe getting it that soul of America travel. I yeah, you know um, Yeah, see and the crazy thing about this situation is for uh, the folks who are on like public assistance and the ones who get housing vouchers uh, there there's more talk and discussions about making it you know in order for them to continue getting their benefits that they're talking about connecting the vaccine to them being able to get their benefits and so or to to be able to get those uh types of uh programs that are safety net programs and i i agree with you in the sense that it is very reminiscent of tuskegee so um miss Antoria diamond says You've been doing local staycations here and there, little to no people around. But now with flu season, it's inevitable for this uh, to continue uh, for the long term. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, Rodney, yeah, he says that he's already had COVID once uh, and hoping you can't get it again. I, I, I hear you. Yeah, it's supposed to be. You know, and that's the thing that I'm interested in because it was supposed to be when they talked about the vaccine, they talked about people who had a record of it sort of being exempt from it. And so now it's very interesting that as they're making more strides in development, that we're not really hearing about whether or not folks would um, be exempt from taking it. Uh, and so Black Man Abroad says, you want to see if it's going to give us superpowers <laughs> or if it's going to turn us into zombies. I, you know, I can't, I hate to say I, I, yeah, I thought about, <laughs> about some of these crazy apocalypse movies that I've seen over time. So, yeah, that's too funny. <laughs> too funny. Um, so, yes, I, I, I hear you. But, you know, regardless, I want folks to stay safe. Um, you know, obviously going on on lockdown is not something that anyone desires. You know, we're still moving forward full steam ahead in planning for uh, 2021, uh, 2022. We actually have things uh, in the works for 2022. You know, regardless of what... Uh, um, the government may may do. I mean, I guess we can uh, only speculate. Thank you so much for joining Soul of America. Um, I just encourage people to stay positive, stay healthy, um, do what you can. We are definitely paying attention to the news. Uh, I just spoke to some of our folks uh, today. We're um, looking 
to do uh, do some online stuff with our folks in Ghana, also our folks in Kenya, uh, as a way of, you know, just kind of answering people's questions and connecting you with people who are on uh, the continent uh, to hear firsthand what's going on. And uh, obviously to learn from some of them, as you know, we have uh, trips going to a couple of amazing, well, all of our places are amazing, but uh, definitely in Africa and on the African continent. So far, like I said, no one is requiring uh, this vaccine. Obviously, over the next few months, um, you know, we'll hear more about it. Uh, but I want people to know that, you know, we're tracking it, we're listening. And as things come up, I'll definitely um, make sure I come on and do lives uh, to stay connected to to all of our amazing travelers and those of you who who follow us and have subscribed to us. Thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, I just, I, I want to say be safe and enjoy the holiday. Yes, Black Men Abroad, thank you for joining. And I will see you guys later.